Hey there. Today we're going to be looking at generating drawdowns within Intact for reimbursable grants. This will be using the projects module, which then can be renamed to either grants or whatever you want it to be named to um, in the system. We'll be using the billable feature within Intact. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how it works. All right, from the home page here, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the generate invoice feature. And I'm going to go ahead and use the favorites to do that. So I have it saved here. I'm going to click on it. And this brings me to the generate invoice screen. Uh, we're going to make sure to have the correct invoice selected, which is the state grant drawdown. So that's correct in this in this case. And then we're going to want to create the invoice or put the invoice date for the date we want it to be created on. And so since this is probably end of quarter uh, grant report grant drawdown, we want that for 331. And then we're going to search by the actual grant ID. And so once we have that grant ID, we can then press submit it or post it or draft. Let's go ahead and do draft so we can see what it looks like before posting it. And then from here, if you're confident with what you have, you can create, you can just generate the, the drawdown right there and review it in the order entry screen. Or you can press preview to see what transactions are going to be included. And that's what we're going to do here. So once, so in this screen, it shows us the header information for the what's going to be the drawdown that's going to be generated. It's also going to give us a total amount of what's in this drawdown, and that's going to be based off of the expenses that it captured as billable. And then also um, gives you the budget, which we can see here at a glance that we're a little over budget, but we're going to go move forward anyways because we can adjust that budget later. Um, so now on here, it's going to split these transactions out by module. So in this, the first one is going to be timesheets. So this organization is using uh, timesheets with an intact. They're either creating them in the system or importing them from a different system and then marking those as billable. And so we can actually go ahead and select or unselect transactions that we would want included in that drawdown. Like maybe there's a mistake that we need to go back and fix. We want to make sure to exclude those so that we can go back and recode it to the correct grant. Uh, you can also change the price if the pricing is wrong for these amounts, but these are bringing in the actual costs um, for each of these transactions. Other options are employee expenses. So if employees are submitting reimbursements in the system, they can also select that grant and select it as reimbursable through the billable option. And then one of the most common ways to capture billable expenses is through this accounts payable um, AP bills as well as purchasing where you'd create the AP bill, tag the grant, and mark it as billable. And then it will show up here to be able to generate on the drawdown. Uh, one of the uh, cool features, though, is that you can also capture journal entries. So on this one, it shows the journal entry here with the, um, with the option to select or unselect it. So maybe if you need to reclass the, uh, the expenses from one grant to another, you can do that here, and then it'll still show up on the screen to be selected for the drawdown. So once we're happy with what is on this screen and the amount that's going to be drawn down, we can go ahead and create the invoice up here. And so at the top, it's going to give us a snapshot of how it went. So it said it was created, and it gives us the invoice number that was created for that, um, for that, for that drawdown. So we'll go ahead and use our favorites again to navigate to the state grant drawdown. And here it is here in draft mode. So we'll go in and edit it. And then we can see, make sure that it's what we expected it to be. The total amount should match what was on the screen before, which it does down here. And it's breaking out by actual expense. So you can see what, where all these drawdown amounts are coming from as for backup. Uh, once we're happy with what's on this screen as well, then we can press post. And so at this point, once it posts, it's actually going to hit the respect um, the respective GL accounts that would need to be hit for that for that grant. So it would be debiting grants receivable and crediting state grant revenue in this um, in this scenario. So at this point, it now is in your GL. It's in your AR. So when you receive that money back from the state from that state granting agency, you can just receive it as a regular invoice. When we look at the posting details, it's going to show us what um, what we're hitting here. So we got the the grant receivable, and then the other side is going to be the state grant contracts revenue. Um, and then when we then when we receive the payments, it'll show up here as total paid uh, once that payment's been deposited. And that is how you can do re a drawdown generation and tax for reimbursable grants. Hope this was helpful. Thank you. Thank you.